Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take a look at my high frequency light transformer, single electrode light transformer. Um, before we do that, I just want to quickly read to you a couple of excerpts from transcripts of lectures given by Nikola Tesla in the early 1890s. Uh, it goes as follows. The use of one electrode and one connecting wire, or no connecting wire, will afford the load appliance with improved performance as compared to utilising the standard return wire configuration, leaving in wires are defects which should be done away with. So what he's saying is we don't need a positive and a negative, we just need one wire which will give better performance and, um, and obviously has to be um, a high frequency supply. Um, On to the experiment with single electrodes and high frequency. Okay, what you're looking at here is not a single electrode setup unfortunately. This is a standard neon sign system. As you can see over here we have, if I can zoom on it, a standard 12 volt power supply converting lines frequency AC into, I'll turn it around for you, 12 volts at 2.5 amps. That goes straight out to this little transformer here as you can see and this is the neon sign transformer and again I've got it the wrong way let me turn it around this takes the 12 volts DC and converts it to 2 kilovolts at 30 milliamps and that at the moment is going straight out to output to the red leads straight to a neon sign tube now we're going to make some modif modifications convert a standard neon sign system into a high frequency single electrode transformer you need to remove the neon light um, instead connect one electrode to the end of one neon light the other neon light being left disconnected the other electrode goes to another wire going to a separate neon light as you can see here and then the other end again not connected that's just an old resistor we'll take that off in a second actually I'll take it off right now I'll just twist the bloody thing off there we go removed. Okay, now for the next step we're going to take our single electrode bulb and place it, no wires connected as you can see, we're going to place this inside a PVC tube and we're just going to sit it in there and we're going to do the same on the other side. Before we put the other neon light in this PVC tube we'll just talk about the transformer winding itself which is what you're looking at here um, the first one and the second one the blue one and this one here are both wound in the same configuration uh, it is center tapped L2 it's midpoint like a midpoint grounded transformer um, the difference in this to a standard L2 that's midpoint grounded is that this end of the coil is actually connected by this you can see this wire here goes straight across to the other side of the transformer winding and we're actually going to only be tapping into this point here okay let's put this one in uh, it's going straight in and you might notice that I've got a PVC tube surrounding this one it's just to keep it from falling over it's just a bit more stable um, now you can see where it's usually a midpoint grounded L2 coil I've got this alligator clip connected to it and that is actually going straight out to 
this electrode and on the other coil where it's again you can see one end connected to the other end here and then the midpoint grounded point here is connected to this wire and that leads all the way to the other electrode. So we've got two electrodes facing each other, one from each coil. Um, so wh what we've gone through so far as you can see is pretty much a standard neon sign system up to the transformer where we split the two electrodes going into a single electrode configuration. Um, we can do this only because it is a high frequency signal coming out of that transformer. This is actually operating at about 55 kilohertz. Um, if we were to do this with mains frequency, it would not work at all. Um, you could try using, you know, something like, I guess, these suckers here, 15 kilovolt uh, neon sign transformers. But because they plug into uh, 240 volt mains, um, you're only going to get about 50, 60 hertz out of it, so that's not going to be fast enough to do anything. So, 55 kilohertz is plenty fast enough to get some results in terms of high frequency wireless transmission uh, using only one leading in wire. Now, we're pretty much ready to turn this system on, but before we do, I'll just show you how much power we're capable of drawing out of this system. Um, these are a couple of transformers that I've blown up in the past, running experiments similar to this one. Um, it draws so much power that the core in the transformer overheats and explodes. Here's one that actually exploded. This one shorted out and uh, stopped working before it exploded. But the casing is like fully, it's hard, it's solid, but it's um, fully deformed. I actually got this one and cut it open because I was curious about how it, how it all looked inside. So here it is, if you wanted to have a quick look inside, that's what you're looking at. Anyway, moving on. Okay, just about to turn this system on, and because I'm a nice guy, I put a ruler out there so that you can all see how long this arc is that we're going to produce. Um, we're going to make sure that these electrodes are not touching because that's when when they're touching that's when we seem to get a lot of current draw out of the neon sign transformer that's a bad thing. So we'll start them spaced apart just to try and keep the current down. I'll try and line that up so that's a bit more accurate. Radio. So that's starting on the zero point there. So we'll see how far oops, we'll see how far we can draw the arc. We'll start that about there somewhere. Now, let's, you can see we've got the same configuration. Single electrode, light going in, that is it. The L2 coil picks up the current straight to the electrode. And you can see it is the same thing on the other end midpoint, light, inside, single electrode, coming out, going to the transformer, let's turn it on, powering on, and straight over to the arc, can we see anything happening here, I'm smelling a lot of ionization through these electrodes, we have an arc now, and we'll just try and zoom in on that a bit better. There we go. Without electrocuting myself, we will draw this arc. We've got about 25 millimeters there. We'll zoom in a bit more. I'll try not to wreck this camera. Arcing and that is exactly 25 millimeters so we can draw an arc about an inch as you can see
and it is a nice chunky little flame uh, it's a little wider than what it looks on the camera here a bit thicker it's very hot anyway that's what we're getting out of the coils which are run by the neon lights that you can see inside these coils try and zoom out so it's a bit weird there you go you can definitely see the lights inside coils and my arc is still going still flaming away just connected to the coils so it's just coils picking up the electromagnetic radiation, the high frequency radiation converting that into electricity and that is what you're seeing the arc right here is the load just thought I'd share it with you single wire transmission into light back into electricity and you can see the power thanks for watching subscribe